Well, praise the Lord, saints. It's a blessing to be back in, in service with you. One more time, Lord, that blessed us to see another day. We appreciate the Lord for thank God for being with us and helping us and guiding us and strengthening us. Thank God, you know, seeing about us today. We appreciate the Lord. We try our best to honor him, give him all honor and all praise and give him all glory. And we really appreciate him for just watching over us, being our, you know, the scripture says he's our very present help in a time of trouble. And I thank God for, for being just that, being our very present help in these times of trouble. And folks, you know, we in trouble time. And I thank God for, for being there for us. Thank him for watching over his word. He said, I'll watch over my word to perform it, to make it good. I'll see about it, that I can, I'll bring it to pass. And I thank God for that. Thank God for giving us a mind that, Cleave to him, hold on to him. Thank God for all our trials and tests and temptations come up against us. I thank God for sharing our mind and helping us holding on. We may not have a lot of strength, but thank God for giving us that little strength that we have enough to keep us holding on, keep us encouraged. And I appreciate the Lord for it. And I thank God for thank God tonight. Appreciate you for those of you that be tuning in with us tonight. And as I always say, you have your Bible ready. We're gonna to speak to you for a few minutes and ask God here to direct the service and lead and guide us and I thank God for your prayer that you keep praying you know we pray one for another the Bible says pray one for another I thank God for you we pray one for another and keep one another up before God in prayer that God will deliver that God will move thank God that he'll break every yoke he'll move every hindrance out of the way and that we be in that God just fix us don't move us out of the way but just fix us cleanse us straighten us up thank God and I believe he'll do it so we're going to go in prayer uh, and ask God to Bless the service tonight. We really, really, really appreciate you, all of you. Father, thank you tonight, and I appreciate you, Jesus, for being God. Thank you, Lord, for being true to your word. Thank you. Lord, for you said you'll watch over it to make it good. Thank you. Lord, that we got a God that, Lord, that we can bring your word up. Lord Hosea said, when we come before you, take words with us. Thank you for being this kind of God. We can bring your word before you, Lord. You will honor your word, God. I thank you for being that kind of God. That don't, Lord, don't renege on your word. God, help us to believe it. Help us to stand on it. God, help us, Lord, to confess it. Lord, make it alive in our hearts, I pray. Make your word, God. Make it alive. Father, in our heart, let you, you told us the word of God in Hebrew was alive. It was quick. Sharper than in the two it. So, God, let this same word, God, be in our heart. Let it be alive in us. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, that it accomplish. You say it accomplish the purpose which you're sending out there for. God, let your word accomplish, Lord. You, you say you come to save. You come to deliver. You come to heal. You say you didn't come to destroy me in life, but to save him. Father, let this word, thank God, let it be alive. Let it accomplish. Save us, Lord. Save our children. God, save our loved ones. Save us from this old evil out here. God, all this old spirit of the nation. I'm asking you, God, to save us, Lord. To be offensive about us. Lord, and to be in the sick among us tonight. I'm asking you to heal. God, visit those. Lord, we often pray for Brother Banks and his wife, honey. Lord, Sister Durant, God. God, this Sister Sykes' nephew, I believe. Lord, that blood pressure up there. Sugar, Sister Irene got her. I uh, got a call to her. Her son had had this stroke, but during the time he having a stroke, it, his wife turned around and had to go in the house. Her sugar went up. A lot of her went up over a thousand. God, and they couldn't get it down because she was in a coma for father. Thank you for bringing it down. Thank you for bringing her out of that coma. Thank you, mighty God, for being this God, Lord, that, and we keep praying up for them, Lord. We Ask you, Jesus, to, oh, Lord, to see about them. Touch their hearts and touch their minds. Do something for them. And let their eyes, God, let them eyes be open. Let them come to you, Lord. If they ain't to you, let them come to you. In the name of Jesus, Lord, heal all the sick that be among us tonight. I pray in every home, wherever they may be, Lord, if they be in on a job that tune us in, God, I pray, Lord, be their deliverance. God, deliver the bound. In the name of Jesus Christ, God, help our nation. 
our president, our congressmen, our senators, and our governors and mayors. I pray, Lord, do something for them, God. Get this nation, let it come back to you. Get this nation. God, if you can get it back on the right track, get it back on the right track, Father. Lord, I don't know how much time we got, Lord, for this, for this earth, Lord, you come back. But Jesus, I pray, get us back to you before you come back, God. Get us back honoring you and worshiping you, Lord, and acknowledging you. Lord, when you come back, God, I know you say you got a church, you come back after. But God, there's some people, more people that can be saved. And I'm asking you in Jesus' name, God, to say, and I thank you for it. In Jesus' name, we give you praise. Thank God. We appreciate the Lord tonight. Thank God. We're going to ask you to give him a hand and pray. We may try to sing this little song here. I had a, the Lord of C. Fitch, you know, we try to sing it, that music. And, but we certainly appreciate it. It's, it's a good idea. Must have been you. There in my shadows, drawing me closer to that grace. You have always been there with love divine, waiting for my light to shine. I was the one seeking the glory while you were there offering your strength all of the glory is in your name has not been once you put me to shame did you ever know you are my hero and you're everything i hope to be and i can fly higher than an eagle oh, you are the wind beneath my wings might have appeared to go unnoticed but I got it all here in my heart I want you to know I know the truth and I would be lost without you you ever know you are my hero you everything I hope to be. I can fly high, higher than an eagle. Oh, you are the wind beneath my wings. Thank God. How many know Jesus is the wind beneath our ring? We, we, we can't. We was the one seeking the glory. But it, it, it was him there all the time in our stead. Standing out of shadow, think why we were seeking the glory. The Bible, that song said, all the glory is in your name. And I mean, all the glory is in the name of Jesus Christ. So I thank God for that little song. He is the folk, he's the wind beneath my wings. And I thank God for it. We're going to speak to you. I really appreciate those of you tuning in. Listen, keep us in prayer. Brother Banks, his wife, and all of them that Sister Durant, she's doing fine. I talked with her day, she's doing fine. Thank God, our sister. Pam, I couldn't get her. I talked to her. We, we always got baby in prayer, and I appreciate the Lord. Listen, we're going to read a few scriptures to you, and we want you to journey in. And uh, like I said, get comfortable. Thank God. Don't have nothing there to do for about an hour, maybe an hour. You don't have nothing there to do, man. Get to, as I spoke the weekend, you know, you know we coming on the 7 30 on a Tuesday night, and 11 30 and Saturday and Sunday. So get everything else out the way and set this time aside where you can just sit down and and enjoy the word of God. We're going to try to speak something, thank God, that'll encourage you, something that'll uh, keep you holding on, keep you encouraged, you know. I believe we need to do as Jesus told Peter. When you get converted, strengthen your brother. Do something to help your brother. And folks, we are our brother's keeper, whether we know it or not. We are our brother's keeper. We are to strengthen one another. We are encouraged. There ought to be a spirit in us that make us want to uh, see one another make it. And I pray as God put that spirit in me, you help me, you know me. I'm what I am by your glory. And by your grace, God, so you put in me this word. You know, God told uh, 
told Jonas, go down there now, Jonas, and preach the preaching that I bid you to preach. I said, Lord, help me to preach the preaching that you bid me to preach, not for somebody else, but Lord, the thing that you give me to preach. And so when we try to preach a word that's kind of helped you hold on, and in the old time we're in right now, you know, we need we need something to help us to hold on, folks. And you know how to never fight you. You know the spirit that comes to you and fight you. Try to get you disencouraged. But thank God we pray that God give us words that help us. Listen from the book of St. John, chapter 10. We go read from verses of 1 through 4. And I tell you, I really thank God for this opportunity. And God to help us. Listen. St. John 10, verse 1 through 4. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that entered not by the door into the sheepfold, but climbed up some other way, the same as a thief and a robber. He that entered in by the door is the shepherd of the sheep. To him the porter openeth, and the sheep hear his voice, and call his own sheep by name, and lead them out. Listen. And when he putteth forth his own sheep, he goeth before them. And the sheep follow him, for they know his voice. And I want to speak tonight, and I'm not got some more scripture, but the Bible says when he put his sheep forth, he go before them. One thing about Jesus that told us in John 14, I'm the way, the truth. And it ain't nothing that we go through. Look, he's not a sheep herder, he's a shepherd. He leads the sheep. He says, when I put my sheep forth, I go before them. He is our example. He don't put us out there to go through nothing. Thank God that he ain't been through or he's leading us. He go, he's, he's in front of us. I mean, he's not going to just lead us into dangers and trouble. He's not going to be there to help us. Uh, so he said, when I put my sheep forth, I go before them. I'm going to speak to you tonight on Jesus is that example. He's that perfect example. So everything, he don't turn us loose out there. You know, like, sometimes we send peace out on the wild goose chase, but Jesus don't do that. Thank God, wherever, he, wherever you go, he been there first. Thank God, he, he know what's going on. He know where every ditch is. He know where every snare. He know where every trap is. You know, every temptation or every spirit out there, thank God, to, to stop you, to hinder you. know where that is. He go before you. And when he put us forth, like, whatever you're going through, don't thank Jesus. Been, Jesus has been there already. Thank God, because he don't, he don't, he go before his sheep. He don't put us out there. Thank God. Listen to what Matthew 18 say. And I want to get to this here. Matthew 18, and verses 21 through 22. I mean, just listen with you. Thank God that Matthew 18 verses uh, 21 to 22. Listen to what he said. Then came Peter to him and said, Lord, how oft shall my brother sin against me and I forgive him till seven times? Jesus answered unto him, I say not unto these until seven times, but unto seven at times seven. Now listen here. Remember, Jesus go before us. He said, when I put my sheep for, I go before them. If Jesus telling telling Peter and them, listen here, forgive your brother. Now I hear some people say seven at times seven a day. I don't, I don't know about that day apart, but listen here. If Jesus instructing us to forgive, uh, to forgive him seven at times seven, then he's an example. Thank God he'll forgive us seven times seventy. He'll do the same thing. Thank God he's not asking us to forgive our brothers. They trespass against us all that time, and he not do it. I was praying. I said, God, you know, we mess up. We do this. We mess up. I said, God, forgive us. And God brought this scripture to me. Thank God that Peter asked him how often. Jesus said, listen, if I ask you to forgive seven times seven, I will do it. I, I'm the example. I'm not asking you to do nothing. Thank God that I, I won't do it. I haven't done it. And how many of I've sinned for many. And Jesus would give us that seven times. I said, God, thank you. That, that, that encouraged me. Because sometimes you know we'll mess up here. We'll mess up there. We have to keep going back to Jesus. Asking him, forgive us, God. Help me, God. You get tired. But Jesus told him to so listen here. Seventy times seventy. I am an example. I go before you. Before I put you out there to do anything, I done been there myself. I am the door. And if, if we Jesus expects us to forgive one another seventy times seventy, then he himself also. And I don't believe we're gonna sin it that many times just again four hundred and ninety times, but he's that example for us. That's why he's telling us what to do, because he's been there. I think I, I go before. Whatever you go, Jesus go before you, folks. He will forgive you. So don't that's why I tell you, listen, keep striving. 
I preach you keep on as you fall, get back up. Jesus, I forgive you. Seven times seven. Well, that may not be all of it, but look at it. That's why I tell you to get up, keep going. Thank God we got a God that forgives you. We got a God if he is telling us to do this. Don't, don't you know he'll do it himself? Don't you know he is? Don't, don't you know he's right there? Thank God to forgive us and help us. Thank God we may look like we're sinning so much, but Jesus right there. He commissioned us, uh, Peter and them to do the same thing, and he's doing it. I was encouraged. I said, God, thank you for this scripture. Thank you for this word because sometimes like, we just mess up here and mess up there. Oh, I'm not out there in the streets. I'm not out there trying to commit sin and all that kind of stuff. But let me tell you something, folks. We mess up. We miss God. Sometimes we come fat, look like we're afraid. We come up short. And we had to keep going to Jesus and ask him, I said, God, please don't get tired of me asking you to help me. And Jesus gave us strips. Listen to this seven times. If I'm the good shepherd. When I put you out there, I go before you. I'm not out to put you out there in a strange territory. I don't know nothing about you. don't know nothing about. Thank God I'm going before you. Man, I'm going to check everything else out. It's already checked out. Thank God when we go out there. He said, seven times 70. Folks, let me tell you something. That's why I tell you, keep holding on. Keep striving. Keep pressing. Don't give up. If you fall, fall in Jesus. If you mess up, mess up in Jesus. If you stumble, stumble in Jesus. Thank God because he, man, he's equipped to forgive you. Man, he got that kind of spirit. He got that kind of attitude. He got that kind of love. He got that kind of compassion. He got that kind of understanding. He got that kind of long suffering. Thank God. He said, man, when you go out there, forgive him. Thank God. So I got to say, I'm telling you something that I do. I'm not, you know, Jesus, listen, I'm not going to tell you to do nothing I won't do. Thank God, I believe he'll forgive us not just seven, seven times, seven, and whatever it takes that we repent, act and repent, and be honest with him and desire. I believe God will help us. Seven at time, he said, man, when I put you forth, when I put my sheep forth, I go before them. Folks, we're not in this thing alone. We're not walking by ourselves. We're not on this the journey. He's the example. Jesus said, you follow me. One script down, Marie, he said, told that, that disciple to follow me. He said, he that follow me shall not walk in darkness. Because what? I am the light of the world. Thank God. He's I'm an example. Uh, if you follow me, you're not going to walk in darkness. Thank God. I've been through everything. I'm having you, I've been through it. Hebrews says, thank, we don't have a high priest that can't be tempted with the fittest of our friend, but, but tempted like we in every point, yet without sin. So Jesus has been through it. Thank God. He, man, he, the Bible says he, he came in the likeness of sinful flesh, false sin, condemning sin, in the flesh. Thank God. He came in the likeness. He went through all that stuff. Thank God so he can identify us. All that stuff. So he can be a great high priest. All that stuff. He went through, thank God, so he can be touched with the feelings of God. He know what we go through. He been through it. Been through all them trials and tests and stuff like that. And he know what we go through. He got compassion. The Bible says he can be touched with the feelings of our infirmity. We can forgive one another. Ain't nobody going to trespass against you, you know, seven times seventy. I hear some priest says, uh, Dave, I don't know if you're talking about a day or not, but man, 490 and some time uh, uh, people trespassing against you. you know, I just uh, you know, I don't think you're going to be around people that many times. But Jesus said, in other words, Jesus said, it's unlimited. If they, if they ask you to forgive them, it's unlimited. Whenever they come to you and ask you to forgive them, it's unlimited. You forgive them. If it's seven times seven, if it's a hundred times seven, you forgive them. Jesus, because I've been through it. And I'm not putting you out there. Something that you can't do. He said, I'm not, I will not allow you to go to something to come up on that you ain't able to go through it. Jesus, folks, is that perfect example. He left an example here for us. He's the example. He left a way for us. Whatever he asked us to do, let me tell you something. He'll do it. The done did it. Listen. First Samuel. Listen to First Samuel here. First Samuel 18. I mean 12. First Samuel 12 in verses of Verses uh, 13 through 22. He's, remember, folks, he's the example. He's the example. Think you, you're not going through what you're going through alone. You're not, not threading on, on, on territory, thank God, that ain't been already spied out. Ain't been already checked out. Jesus go before us in every thing we go through. Jesus has been there. And he's with you. He'll be with you. And he will sustain you. Listen. Verse 7, 12, verse 13. Now therefore, behold, the king, 
who ye have chosen. And by the children of Israel, the way they desired a king. And, and it was upset God. God told them, listen, I, I, they ain't told Samson, you ain't rejecting you, Samson. They rejected me. They didn't want me to be that judge. But listen here. Thank God. He said, listen here. Now, therefore, behold the king whom ye have chosen and whom ye have desired. And behold, the Lord has set a king over you. If you may fear the Lord and serve him and obey his voice and not rebel against the commandments of the Lord, then shall both ye and also the king that ring over you continue following the Lord God, your God. But if you will not obey the voice of the Lord, and I'm going to try to get down to the scripture, but rebel against the commandments of the Lord, then shall the hand of of the Lord be against you as it was against your father. Now therefore stand here. See this great thing which the Lord will do before your eyes. Is it not wheat harvest today? I will call unto the Lord and he shall send thunder and rain that ye may perceive and see that your wickedness is great which ye have done in the sight of the Lord in asking you a king. Samuel called unto the Lord and the Lord sent thunder and rain that day and all the people greatly feared the Lord and Samuel and all the people said unto Samuel pray for thy servant unto the Lord thy God that we die not for we have added unto all our sin this evil to ask the king and Samuel said unto the people fear not ye have done all this wickedness yet turn not aside from following the Lord but serve the Lord with all thine heart. And turn ye not aside, but then shall ye go after vain things which cannot profit you neither nor deliver, for they are vain. For the Lord, listen, will not forsake his people for his great name's sake, because it had pleased the Lord to make you his people. Samuel told him, listen now, don't stop on the Lord. The God here helped it. You, he have chosen you. He is a merciful God. He is a of, of long suffering God. He's not just don't stop following God. Like I try to tell all this. Don't stop following God. He's a merciful God. He has chosen us to be his people. Thank God. Therefore, he's a he's, ex, he's an example. He's long suffering. He has chosen us. Don't we mess up? If we repent, sons don't stop following God. I tell people, don't stop following Jesus because you mess up. Thank God. He has chosen us to be his people. He is a, a, a God of mercy, a God of understanding, a God of help. And we're not stop following Jesus. Folks, that's our only hope that they. If we stay with Jesus, thank God when you mess up, thank God don't run from him. You mess up, thank God cleave to him, call out to him the more that God forgive me and help me. That's what I do. When I feel like I done messed up somewhere, sometimes I know we don't feel worthy. And sometimes I don't feel worthy going to God. If I know I done flipped up somewhere, somewhere we went and I got sin and all, nothing like that. And I feel like I maybe miss God somewhere. I go and I say, God, I don't even feel worthy. Now here I am. Here I am coming back to you. Asking you for help. Asking you to forgive me. Asking you that. God, I don't even feel worthy. A lot of time to come to you. God, I, sometimes I really don't feel I don't even feel worthy going to Jesus. God, I just the Lord. But you know, he's a long-suffering God. He's a merciful God. He's a forgiving God. He, he's our example. He, he forgives us. And he wants to do the same to one another. He wants to forgive one another. I don't care what we do to one another. I'm talking to somebody. Say, I don't know. So I have kind of a hard time trying to uh, uh, do unto others. You know, forgive them of their trespasses. That's the way we can do it, though. God helps us to do it, folks. We, we, we are a chosen. We are chosen. A chosen people. A chosen generation. Jesus, he set forth an uh, example. He laid it out for us. Thank God. He, he, don't, he, he ain't like... The scribes and Pharisees, the Bible says, man, you lay heavy burdens upon people's shoulder and you won't lift them with one finger. You know? But Jesus not like that. Jesus, come unto me, all you that labor and are late and heavy laden, and you'll find rest. I'll give you rest for your soul. Man, he said, I understand what you're going through. I understand the, the thing that you're going through, the burden. I understand the trials. and the, I understand, thank God, what the devil trying to do. He said, I've been through it. But yet, Jesus didn't sin because he was that perfect example. But he'd been through all kinds of trials and tests. Some of the things probably the Bible don't even speak about. Jesus went through them. But he was perfect. That no, thank God, through him we can make it. Trusting in Jesus, believing in Jesus. I don't care how hard the test is. I don't care how hard the trial is. Thank God Jesus has been through this thing. And with Jesus, we can make it through it. Don't make do what it is, folks. Through Jesus, we can make it through it. 
We may not make through it flying colors in our sight or in somebody else's sight, but all we got to do is be healed in Jesus, stay with Jesus. We'll make it through it. We'll come, come through it on the other side, and that's all we want to come through it. You know, it ain't no, you know, in heaven, I don't think there ain't going to be no different of degrees of, this degrees of, uh, uh, of saints up there. I believe it's going to be all saints, all believers, all Christians. I don't believe one going to be higher than another. You know. So if we come through this thing, this Jesus want to just come through this thing. I don't care what you come through it and hold on to. Just fight with it. He said, don't stop following God. After you've done all this wickedness by asking the king, with the Lord for your king, he was your judge. He said, but now, so you've done all, add all this weakness to what you, your sins already. Don't stop following God, folks. Don't stop. You got to, thank God, you got to, Jesus told us, I forgive you. He gave us pattern, an example, all through the Bible, where he forgive folks and where he helped them. He said, well, I want you to do the same so we don't have to turn from God. We don't have to stop. Um, God, folks, that's the only way you're going to make it. Only way we're going to make it. Jesus being a perfect example for us. This is what John, this is what John 13 says. John 13 in verses 1 through 17. St. John. 13, 1 through 17. He is, folks, that example, that perfect example for us. The thing he went through, the Bible said, what? When he revived, he revived not again. And we're showing us that this is when people revive, you, don't you, don't you revive not again. Don't revive back to them. He, he, he been through that. The Bible said, when he revived, he revived not again. He didn't resist. Even he let them did whatever so they wanted to do to him. Beat him and spit on him and stuff like that. He didn't fight back. The Bible said resist not evil. And so he didn't resist evil. He, did, he, he was subject. He was, a, he was a subject. Thank God to the Father. Just like he, he is an example of us to be subject to him, he was subject to the Father. When they beat him and whipped him, thank God he didn't try to fight back. The Bible said as a lamb to the slaughter he went. Never opened him mouth. Didn't say a word. Down. He was that perfect example. As he went to that, thank God to the slaughter, the Bible says. And he, he given us an example. Thank God when you be persecuted, thank God, he didn't open his mouth. Let's not open my mouth. Don't complain. Oh God, why am I going to? Why am I going to? Why not? As he is, so are we in this world. So, folks, we got an example here. We got a great high priest that's been through everything. When we go out there, folks, don't think you're going alone. I know sometimes it seems kind of hard. It seems a, a really burdensome trouble. Let me tell you something. You're not alone. That the spirit that troubles you, the spirit that finds you, the thing that troubles you, thank God Jesus right there. He sees it. He knew about it. He knew all about it. Thank God he was, if we are praying, ask God, God, help me hold on to you. Give me a good hold on you. God, I, I don't seem very strong, but God, help me to hold on to you. Thank God he will bring us through this stuff. He's going to bring us through. God tell us that in Revelation, man, that John saw all these deep people. He didn't know who they were. But thank God, you know, I, we can be in that number. We can be among those, that number that John saw that came out of great tribulation. That were faithful. Thank God, road washed, made white in the blood of the Lamb. Going to that great carnation. And that song said they're coming from the north, south, east, and west. On their way to a land of rest. Thank God, we can be in that number. We hold on, cleave to Jesus. Listen, John. 13, verses 1. Thank you, Father. St. John 13, verses 1, 1 through uh, 17. Listen. Now before the feast of the Passover, when Jesus knew that his hour was come, that he should be should depart out of this world, Unto the Father, having loved his own which will end the world, he loved them unto the end. And supper being ended, the devil having now put into the heart of Judas Iscariot, Simon's son, to betray him, Jesus, knowing that the Father had given all things into his hand and that he was come from God and went to God, he rises from supper and laid aside his garment and took a towel and girded himself. After that, he poured water into a basin and began to wash the disciples' feet and to wipe them with that. Now, listen to what Jesus did. He watched. Look over here, Father. 
Verse 15, I'll go back and read it. Verse 15 says, For I have given you an example that ye should do as I have done under Jesus began to watch it. Now here is the Savior of the world, the Son of God. He is watching the disciples. He was the example, watching the disciples. He said, if I have done unto you, do you also likewise. Man, he was, man, um himself. If he asked us to um himself, he didn't um himself. He asked us not to take the high seat. He has not taken the high seat. He has took the lower seat. The Bible says he um himself and came on being the death, even the death of the cross. He's an example of us, folks. So don't feel like the long range. Don't feel uh, uh, alone. Don't feel bad when, when you have to submit yourself and, and humble hum yourself. He said, listen here. Then he comes to Simon Peter, verse 6. Say it unto him, Lord, do it not wash my feet. Jesus answered and said unto him, What I do, know thou not now, but thou shalt know hereafter. Peter said unto him, Thou shalt never wash my feet. Answer him, Jesus answered him, If I wash thee not, thou hast no part with me. Simon, Peter said unto him, Lord, not my feet only, but also my hands and my feet, my head. Jesus said unto him, He that is washed need not say to wash his feet, but is clean every whit. And ye are clean, but not all of you. For he knew who should betray him. Therefore said he, Ye are not all clean. So after he had washed their feet and had taken his garment, and while sat down again, he said unto them, Know ye what I have done to you? He called me Master and Lord, and so say ye well, for so I am. If I then, your Lord and Master, have washed your feet, ye also ought to wash one another's feet. For I have given you an example. that ye should, um, should do as I have done to you. When he put us forth, for he go before us. He said, as I have done to you, you do unto one another. We got an example. We got a pattern. We got somebody that's been through everything that we're going through. Jesus has been through it about the yet without sin. He's that perfect example. Don't feel like you've been misused or messed over. Don't feel like you've been uh, being walked on and Jesus will walk on spiritually. He will trample on spiritually. But yet he didn't revile. He said, as I've done, as I wash your feet, I'm being Lord and Master, and I wash your feet, that you ought to wash one another's feet. So I've been an example to you. That's one thing, good thing about Jesus. He, he, he ain't like the scribe. He ain't like us preachers. today. We have people that do this and do that, and then we don't do nothing with ourselves, you know. But Jesus not like he's an example. He, he for us to follow him. He's that perfect example. That's Lord, thank you for. Man, when he give me that scripture, Lord, thank you for. Let me know if you ask us to repent, forgive our brother seven times seven, you will do the same. And it'll make me feel better. You know, that's God. Because help us. Jesus is there, folks. But he, don't, he don't send you out there alone. When he sends you out there, he's out there with you. Thank God. You know, the Bible says men are led by the Spirit of God. They are the sons of God. So we pray God lead us by his spirit. If he do, he's gonna folk, he's gonna go with you. He go, he gonna cleave to him. Jesus washed. He said, I've given you an example. Thank God. I've given you an example, as I have done. So you, you do the same to your brother and sister. We got folk, we got an example. I mean, we really got somebody to go by. Thank God we got an example to follow. We got somebody to follow. In Jesus Christ, you know, been through it all. He, he, he's not just a God that's sitting up there and never went through nothing, but expect us to go through everything. Uh-uh. He ain't that kind of God. Thank God he's been through every trial and test. He's been through everything we go through. Jesus been through it. He ex experienced it. And therefore, he, 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 he have compassion. Therefore, he understand. He have mercy upon us. And I thank God, because, folks, we need that now. We need that this day and time. But all our stumbling. And the hater Jack saying that song, how did I make it over? Falling and rising all ye all these years. Tell me, how did I make it over? Thank God we stumbling and falling, but thank God we got a, a high priest, a great high priest up there. An, an example. He's not just a king sitting up there, man, with a stick or rule. He's he been through stuff. He's been tried and been tested. Thank God he's been persecuted. 
yet he didn't grumble. He didn't complain about it. So think of, we don't need to grumble and complain about it. God, the Lord Jesus has been our example. Listen, Luke 23. Luke 23, verses 33 and 34. I'm going to let you go in a, let you go in a, in a few minutes. Luke 23. Verse 33 and 34. And when they were come to the place which is called Calvary, there they crucified him and the male factors, one on the right hand and one on the left. Listen. Then said Jesus, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. And they do. You see what Jesus did? After man, they done crucified him, fixed the crucified him, beat him up, and did all this stuff. And he said, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. Being an example, can we learn to say, Father, forgive them? Help them. Lord, forgive them. Lord, help them. They have been, Lord, they maybe spoke out again. They done thing again. They did thing. God, forgive them. Can we, can we, uh, man, uh, man, take pattern after Jesus? Can we pattern ourselves? Jesus wants to pattern ourselves after Him. Man, He laid the foundation. And John, He said, "I'm the way, the truth." He said, "I'm the way, the truth, and the life." He said, "If you follow me, you will walk in darkness." Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. Thank God that God, I believe Jesus put that spirit in us and we will submit to it. Thank God we let go our pride, let go your pride, let go your self-honor and submit yourself to the word of God. God, help me submit myself. You got to make you feel better. Man, you may be hurt, but Jesus will make you feel better. Thank God you pray, he'll make you feel, he'll make it all right. Thank God he'll make it all right. Make all your burdens all right, all your trouble, he'll make them all all right. If we submit ourselves in God, thank you. We got to follow Him. Follow after Jesus. He said, Father, forgive them. Oh man, how many of us can say that? How many of us can honestly, truly say, are we, are we, man, are we a, a, a harboring some more ill feeling in our hearts about somebody that done wronged us? Or somebody that done lied on us? Are we harboring ill feeling? Who oh, hate the feeling? But can we honestly say, Father, forgive them? For they know, and, and when people speak out against, they don't know what they've done. Some people thought they know what they've done, but they know what they've done. And Jesus knew they didn't know what they've done. Anytime, man, we are condemn our brother, man, find fault and judge our brother and try to put our brother down, we don't know what we are doing. But Jesus, this perfect example for us, and if they don't know what they're doing. We need to get that same spirit. And I pray that you have it. I'm not saying nobody don't have it, but I'm encouraging you to get a hold of that same spirit. I said, God, give me that same spirit, brother. To forgive them, even whether we realize now, whether we know it now, we pray God forgive them. All our those that trespass against them, forgive them. And we pray that prayer out there to God. God can forgive them somewhere. Whether you know what they have done, whether you know what they have said or not, God, oh my God, God will maybe make it right for them. So Father, forgive them. But they don't know now what they do. Man, don't you want to pattern yourself after Jesus? Don't you want to? Have that same spirit. Man, don't you want to lay down at night with a good, clean spirit? Don't you want to wake up in the morning with a good, clean, right spirit? A man, a fresh spirit that, man, you ain't laid down with some old house, some old hostel in your heart. You lay down at night and rise up the next day, but still got that old same old spirit. Thank God. But you want to lay down with a clean spirit, with a clean heart, with a clean mind. Rise up with a clean spirit, clean heart, a clean mind. And so God ain't holding nothing against them. Especially in family members, you know, we need to, that man really, because, you know, sometimes family members can hold hostile and hostility in their heart against one another. How many of those children and husband and wives and family, they can hold, man, they can, they can walk around the house holding uh, grudges in their heart, hostile in their heart, thank God. But you don't need to lay down like that. You need to follow Jesus, follow Jesus' example. When you lay down, lay down with a clean heart, a clean. If anybody, and then if you don't trespass against somebody else, say, God forgive me for my trespasses, bro. And wake up that next morning, refresh, you know, the right spirit. Jesus told us the Father forgive him, but they know not. 
what they do. Jesus had, to, Jesus had a clean spirit, clean heart. He didn't take nothing to the grave but the people's sin. Went down there, thank God. He didn't take no hostile to the grave when he left on the cross. He didn't uh, die on the cross, man, being bitter, being mean, fussing, asking God to destroy him, ask God to kill him. No, he left when he down there, cross, he died with a clean spirit, a clean heart. Thank God. Went on down there in the grave and did what he was supposed to do down there. And so, because he'd been that, he'd been that example. Jesus tells us in the scripture that vengeance belongs to me and I will repay, says God. So Jesus had a clean spirit. We need to have a clean spirit, bro. It's going to take more than just uh, us prophesying and seeing vengeance. We're going to have a clean and a right heart and a right spirit and a clean heart to make it in. And Jesus had left that. And he said, we're well able. We're well able. Paul said, we can do all things through Christ. That's what we're well able. Thank God to get a hold of his right spirit. But we're going to take a clean heart. I think I heard Brother Fred say, Sister Amos, saying that song, I don't want no trouble at the river, something like that. Thank God, we don't want no trouble at that river, whatever river that be. I mean, there would be a river or a pond. Jesus told his, told his disciples to follow me. And he went to my follow me over here and through the woods to grandma's house. He said, I follow me spiritually. If they let follow me, thank God I should not walk in darkness because he said, I am the way. I have been your perfect example. You follow me, you will not walk in darkness. Jesus has been a perfect example. He said, I forgive what I ask you to do. I do the same thing. Listen, Matthew 8 and 18. Matthew 8 and 18. Now, I'll be letting you go in a minute. When I put my sheep forward, I go before them. And I, I thank God for that. And he put us out there for, I don't care what kind of trial you're having, Jesus, he, he, out, he out front. He's out front there. He's going before you. Thank God. 8 and 18. I'll be reading through 18 through 22. Listen. Now when Jesus saw a great multitude about him, he gave commandment to depart into the other side. And a certain scribe came and said unto him, Master, I will follow thee wheresoever thou goest. And Jesus said unto him, The foxes have holes, and the birds of the air have nests, but the Son of Man have not where to lay his head. And another said, another of his disciples said unto him, The Lord suffer me first to go bury my father. But Jesus said unto him, Follow me, and let the dead bury their dead. And as I said a while ago, Jesus don't mean just follow him over the hills and in the valley and all that. He said, follow me spiritually because I'm the light of the world. I mean, you follow me spiritually. That the dead bury the dead, you follow me. I am your example. You follow me, you will not walk in darkness. I've been your perfect example. I have showed you the way. Thank God I have showed you forgiveness. I've showed you mercy. And, and, and if you follow after me, you'll know these things. The Bible says the fruit of the Spirit is what? Love, peace, joy, and all that. Tend to long something. He said, follow me. I am your example. I am your perfect way. Follow me. And let the dead bury their dead. Thank God. You know, I, I, I said, we need to follow Jesus. I, you know, we can't follow him physically. But we sure enough follow him spiritually. When he told that boy to follow him, he wasn't talking about, man, go, go over to the river with me. Go down to the uh, uh, to the, uh, uh, the, the, the tabernacle with him. Go, he mean follow me spiritually. He's because I am your perfect example. If you follow me, thank God, folks. Jesus got this thing laid out here for us to get to heaven. He's that pathway to heaven. He's that road map to heaven. And he said, follow me. And you won't walk in darkness. Follow me. And folks, we follow Jesus. Thank God we have followed Jesus. We have followed Jesus. We will make it. If we follow Jesus, we'll make it. Think of we're going to walk in the darkness. Because he has to think. Anything outside of Jesus ain't going to make it. I'm the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes unto the Father but by me. He said to follow me. Let the dead bury the dead. Follow me. Because I am the, your way. There ain't no other way. The Bible says, ain't no other way but Jesus Christ. And as he has given us an example, we are also a follow that example. He said to forgive. We are being forgive. He said love. Jesus have loved us. He tell us to love. 
He loved her. The Bible says he, he gave his life her because he loved her. You know, then, 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 then mama complained. He said, I've been at, folk, let me tell you something. He been that, he been that clear path. He been that clear light. He been that example. And the thing that he asked of us, he done been through it. He's not, he not asking us to do stuff that he ain't been through. He's not asking us stuff that's too hard for us to do. He's man, he don't put no more upon you than you can bear. And whatever you come up on, he's I'll make a way for your deliverance. I'll make a way for your escapes. I'll be there for you to help you out through these things. He don't put. One more scripture. Follow me, he says. And I pray God help us to follow you. You know, preachers ain't an example. They're supposed to be. I mean, you're supposed to be an example, but that the preacher's supposed to follow Jesus and because Jesus is the way. He didn't pave out the way. He the only one that went, came down from heaven. He know how he know how to get there. He came down from heaven. You know, we hoping to get there. Thank God he came down from heaven. He knew how to get us back there. He knew how to get us up there. Thank God we'll follow him. He said, follow me. And you won't walk in dark. Follow me. You believe in me, you have life. Hope he's that perfect example. I don't care who, who come up and who rise up and say they this and say they that. Keep your eyes up on the Lamb of God that take away the sins of the world. You keep pushing for Him. Keep striving for Him. Keep reaching out to Him. Whatever you do, keep reaching out to Jesus. Cause let me tell you, we'll follow Him. We'll get that. We'll get that. John 14. I, I just quote that scripture. Jesus, I'm the way. I'm the truth. And I'm the life. No man's coming to the Father but by me. Don't think it's strange concerning the fire trial that you go through. It's something strange. How, and nothing strange happening to thank God. Whatever you're going through, folks, Jesus, he'll be with you. He told us, I'll be with you even in trouble. I will never leave. I won't forsake you. I'll be, we got that promise from the Lord. I'll be, I know sometimes it gets kind of, uh, to us, to our flesh, it gets kind of uh, troublesome, get kind of hard. But let me tell you something, we got to keep our eyes on Jesus. Keep faith in Jesus that God, He's with us. He's gonna see you through this stuff. I make no deal what it is, folks. And we'll get a hold of Jesus. God help me. Even if you can't see where you're going, can't see your way out. Trust in Jesus anyway. Say, God, I'm gonna trust you. I don't can't see my way out of this thing. I can't see no deliverance, but I'm gonna trust you. I'm gonna trust your word. I'm gonna cleave to you. And you told us you will watch over your word. You told us your word will not come back under your bar, but you will watch over it. To perform it to make it good so you uh, find a way, thank God, to, to make your word, establish your word. That God, I'm cleaving to your word. And God, I had to, Lord, it took something for me to forgive. It took something for me, Lord, to to to, to forgive my brother, my sister, man, after they and, and dog me around and dog me out. And it took something, but God, I'm, I'm, I'm trusting in you. I'm trusting your word. God. I'm trusting, Lord, that you're going to see about this stuff, that you, everything's going to be made well. Pro cleave to him. You read the Bible, you see where he been nothing but that perfect example. And we'll follow him. You know, Paul told him to follow me as I follow Christ. Thank you, Father. And I appreciate the Lord tonight. I, I really thank God. I know Peter told us to be an example to the flock. We, we can only by following Jesus can we be an example because it ain't, it ain't another example out there. It ain't another way out there that well, we can be an example to the flock. It ain't another way but through Jesus Christ. You know, we would pattern ourselves, strive to pattern ourselves, strive to. Folks, we got to get that. We got to get that. I'm, gonna, I'm trying to do my darn and do my best. Thank God to help us get that. And I want to get that myself. But I know the way there is to repentance. Strive to live for Jesus and through repentance, asking God to forgive you. Because mercy. Man, God have, God have mercy, man. He's the he's example of mercy. He forgave you of your sins and all your ungodliness, unrighteousness. He was an example there. And he forgive us. He said, listen, if any man sin, we got to advocate Jesus that forgives us of all our sins. So we need to take on that same walk of life, that same mind. He said, God, help me to be as you are. Put the right spirit in me, Lord. We can't, folks, you don't want to leave us a world with a bad spirit, with a spirit that 
of the, the holding against people that have done something to you. Or that spoke out of evil of you. You don't, you don't want to leave with that spirit. Thank God you want to you want to have a clean and a right spirit. Oh, I appreciate the Lord tonight. I thank God for His word, and, and I pray that it was a help to me. I tell you, cause some of y'all may not ever do nothing where you think Jesus have to forgive and help, but I do. Thank God, and I think I'm come up short, man. I go to God in prayer, and sometimes I don't feel worthy. I just said out to God, I don't even know if I should pray or not, God, because I don't even know if I'm fit to pray. I don't know if I'm worthy to pray or not. I don't know if I'm worthy to come to you or not, God. I, and you may not have been there. I have been there, please. I, sometimes I was sitting, I said, God, I don't even know what I should come here and pray or not because I don't feel worthy. I don't feel fit to pray, you know. And I was questioning God about that, and he, said, and he brought that scripture to him and said, seven times seven. You know, Lord, to listen, I, I, I inquire you to do that. And I do. Thank God I forgive you. Folks, let me tell you something. Jesus will forgive you. He will forgive you. If you have to do it seven times, seven, he will do it. And that's where he comes for, to give you life. And, and you know we're going to get life through him forgiving us and helping us because ain't none of us got this thing made. Ain't none of us. You know, we just think, Lord, I appreciate the Lord. Give him a hand and pray. We, we appreciate God. We ain't going to hold you. We want, to, we want to appreciate you. We want to thank God for you. For you holding on. Thank God. I encourage you to hold on. You know? Don't give up. Fight a good fight of faith, you know. Strive and press. Thank God. I know sometimes you may feel like, thank God, it look like ain't nothing clicking for you. It look like Jesus ain't nowhere near you. But no, you got, we got to walk by faith. You got to hold on to Jesus. You know, walk by faith. And there's a faith walk thing, people. And you got to hold on to him. You got to cleave to him. Thank God. There's going to be plenty of time you don't feel like you don't feel like God is there with you, but you know what? You, you walk by faith. He has promised us, I won't leave you, and I won't forsake you. I'll be there always. And we got to take him at his word. Because he don't lie. You know, some say he don't lie. The Bible says he can't lie. You know? And when he swore, and when he could swore by no greater, the Bible says he swore by himself. He said, I swear if I say I'll be with you, I'll be with you. I swear if I say I forgive you, I will forgive you. He said, I swear if I say if I'm going to bless you, I am going to bless you. He swore that. So he'll be with us. When you feel like things ain't going good for you, thank God Jesus right there for you. Thank God. We appreciate the Lord. We're going to get ready to have a, a dismissal prayer. We thank God for all of you. Continue to keep us up in prayer. We need to pray. We need to pray. Keep your brothers up in prayer. That, you know, and needs prayer, all of us need it, but there's some that seem to be going through certain crises that seem to need a special prayer, so look, remember them, you know, if, you, if you're fighting some kind of battle, look, we got to be in prayer, we pray for the God to sustain you and keep you. Thank our Father, we come to you tonight asking you, Holy Father, to bless your people. You got every need there. Lord, there's some, there's some special needs, Lord, there's some but the people have called me asking you, Jesus, I, 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 I confess that you're still God. So I confess, God, that all power in heaven and earth is still in your hand. And I'm asking you, Jesus, you told us to ask anything in your name, you would do it. Well, that the Father be glorified in the Son. And I'm asking you tonight, Lord, if you see about your people. Well, sometimes we have our highs and our lows. But God, be there. Be with your people at your word. So you will never leave you more forsaken. Stand with your people or stand by them. But even through their low time, even if they valley experience, be there with them in that valley. Some kind of way, God, give them that mind. Give them that faith. Give them that confidence. Lord, that you are there. I pray you told the Lord that, that Mark, Lord, you said, what's well, everything we desire when we pray? God, I've been trying to reach out and find that place. I know it's real, God. I know it's right. I know your word is ever selling. You said that what's everything we desire. Lord, when we pray, believe that we receive it, we shall have them. God, I've been trying to find that place, God, that place of faith. That place, God, because you don't lie to us, God. I, if you told us that, God, I, I believe it. And I'm asking you, God, to help me to get in that place, put my mind, put my faith, put my trust, put my belief into that place. If that, that's a secret place, God, that this thing I desire, you said, if we believe we receive, we shall have them. Holy God of heaven, help your people tonight. 
I pray, God, raise up us and rebuke. God, put that faith, that major faith in us, Lord, that, that we need, God, to get these things having to come to pass, to get them established. Move in every home, Lord, touch these children, every family. God, by the Holy Ghost, Lord, every one that's facing some kind of old crisis, I'm asking you, mighty Lamb of God, to give deliverance, give victory tonight, God. I know my eyes behold uh, different things, Lord, that are people that confront me are facing, but God, I'm asking you to be God. Father, be this God. If you would help me, Lord, to be able to stand in the gap and pray. I was praying today, God. How do I stand in the gap? God, how do we stand in the gap? God, how do we pray? Maybe through prayer, God. You said the effects of prayer, the prayer of the rise of Elamites. God, maybe through prayer we stand in the gap. God, that we are finding faith with you, Lord, that you will answer, that you move, that you will help. God, pray for your ministers, Lord, that they be able to Stand in the gap for your people, God. That's my desire, Lord. I wonder, God, how can I, or how am I able to stand, God, in the gap for your people? God, tonight I pray for these. Everyone that got a need tonight, Father, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that you meet that need. And every that vow that you rebuke it, that you lift up every hung down head. In the name of Jesus Christ, that keep us all covered, Lord, with your blood, and keep us hidden behind your cross. Father, we are thank you for it. In Jesus' divine name, touch these children. I pray, God, give them, keep them out of trouble. God, I pray, keep them out of trouble, Lord. Those that are headed for trouble, keep them out. I pray, turning things around for them, God. In the name of Jesus Christ, every trap, Lord, that this devil trying to set for them, Lord, undo it. Lead them in another direction. And Lord, we are thank you for it. In Jesus' name. Praise God. I thank God for the prayer. Thank God for you tuning in. Thank God. I pray that the word of God will, I pray that the word of God will be a be a strength to you. You know, be a help to you and that you cleave to it and hold on to it. We'll take it for what it works. We praise that God help us to take this word for what it works. Thank God, you know, sometimes we can't figure out, but I believe the Lord will help us. Thank God. So we appreciate the Lord. Thank God for all of you, and we'll see you sad if the Lord be willing. Praise God. God bless you.